Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In today's video, we're discussing prepping for a storm event. So you have a tropical storm approaching or a hurricane, and I'm gonna assume you've already stood in the long lines and have gotten your grocery items, such as your water and your non-perishable items. So once you've done that and everything's at home and you've secured uh, your grocery items and your water, next thing you're gonna wanna do is clean up the yard. Now clean up the yard, I mean, Go ahead and pull in all those pots, planters, figurines, things that could possibly become projectiles or get washed away in a flood. You want to go ahead and pick those up, secure them in a shed or a garage if you have one, or just bring them, clean them up and bring them inside. You don't want to um, have those things either flying into your own property or your neighbor's property and causing damage nor do you want to lose some of your precious items the next thing you want to do is set your fridge and your freezer to the coldest settings you do that in order to make sure if the power goes out which in most likelihood if you're getting a, um, a hurricane or a tropical storm you might lose power so go ahead and set it to the lowest settings so that your items will stay uh, colder longer once the power goes out you also want to fill any empty space in the fridge. Containers of water, anywhere that you can, any container, Rubbermaid containers, pots, whatever you have. You don't need bottled water. You can get bottled water out of, uh, water out of your tap and stick it in the fridge. Next thing, do your laundry. I can't stress this enough. Do all of your laundry. Wash the sheets, all the clothes that you might possibly need. Go ahead and get that done. Again, if the power goes out or any of your services is disrupted, you know that you have clean clothes and if you have to uh, bug out or evacuate, you have stuff to take with you. And then what you're going to finally do is take photographs and video of your home and your precious items, whatever you have. Um, the more detailed, the better for insurance of justice. So besides getting um, the brand recorded, if you can get the model number, if you remember how much you paid for it, those type of information would be great. So if you're making a video, just you know, say it's a Samsung TV bought at Best Buy for $600. Just uh, do things like that. Same thing with your precious art or any items that you know you have a value to. In case anything happens, you want to have those things documented. Other than that, be prepared, be informed, and stay 